Let's start by looking at gravity. All objects on Earth experience gravity. Gravity is what makes objects fall when we let go of them. Gravity is a force. Later we'll be looking in more detail about what a force is exactly, but for now a force is a push or a pull. Gravity pulls all objects down towards the centre of the Earth. We have a formula to describe the gravity felt by objects on the surface of the Earth. Because gravity is a force, we write this equation as F is equal to the mass of the object times the acceleration it feels due to gravity. So acceleration describes how quickly the speed or velocity of an object changes with time. So when I drop an object, not only does it start to fall towards the Earth, but it falls at an ever-increasing rate. It falls faster and faster as it gets closer to the floor. So for the longer time it's been falling, the faster it's going. Now, Newton came up with the law of universal gravitation. Newton said that it's not just objects that are attracted to the Earth. Any two objects in the universe are attracted to each other caused by the mass of these objects. So Newton wrote down the law of universal gravitation. The law of universal gravitation can be written as F is equal to some constant, the gravitational constant, which is given the symbol capital G, and is equal to 6.673 times 10 to the minus 11 Newton meters squared per kilogram to the minus 2 times the mass of the first object times the mass of the second object divided by the square of the distance between the objects. Let's have a look now at how we can use Newton's law of universal gravitation along with our first simple equation F is equal to mg to calculate the acceleration of objects on the surface of the Earth. So the acceleration of objects on the surface of the Earth is given the symbol little g. So we know that F is equal to mg describes the force felt by an object dropped on the surface of the Earth and F is equal to g m1 m2 on the distance between them squared is the force felt due to gravitation of any two objects which are attracting each other. So when we're dropping an object on the surface of the Earth, this mass 1 is the Earth and this mass 2 is the object. So what we can do now is equate these two forces. They're both describing the same thing, the force felt by an object when it's dropped on the surface of the Earth. So we've got that the mass of the object, this is the object, so let's call that MOG, is equal to the gravitational constant times the mass of the Earth, times the mass of the object over r squared. Now r squared is the distance between the two masses here. So in this case, it's the mass of the Earth. Here's the Earth. And we can imagine that all the mass of the Earth is concentrated at the very centre of the Earth. And here's our object being dropped just above the surface of the Earth. So the distance between the centre of the Earth and where we're dropping the object from is just the radius of the Earth. So this is the radius of the Earth. So you can see with these two equations the mass of the object appears on both sides. So we can actually cancel that one out. And so now we've got an expression for little g the acceleration due to gravity on the surface of the Earth, G is equal to capital G times the mass of the Earth times the radius of the Earth squared. And so this lets us calculate little g on the surface of the Earth, but we can actually use it on any planet we want. If this was Mars, we could put the mass of the Mars and the radius of the Mars. So let's just check that it works for the Earth. This is equal to 6.673 times 10 to the minus 11 is our universal gravitational constant, times the mass of the Earth, which is 5.98 times 10 to the 24 kilograms, over 
over the radius of the Earth, which is on average 6.37 times 10 to the 6 metres. And then we need to square that. So solving this on the calculator, we get 9.83 metres per second per second. And when we actually measure the acceleration due to gravity on the surface of the Earth, we do get 9.8, so that is an agreement. So if you ever need to calculate the acceleration of any object on any planet or on the moon, you can simply use this formula here. And to get the weight force of the object, we can simply use this formula here with the little g for the specific planet that we're considering.